Back in Daisy Epoch. So basically, this is an economy-based mod for Daisy that allows you to trade things and uh, add lots of mods into the game that can sort of improve your experience. So there's uh, bigger backpacks, lots more guns. It's uh, based off of our mod, although there are not tons of jets and that kind of thing in the game, unless the admins have them in a set spawn points, but it allows you to build bases, fight AI survivors, and essentially do missions that are uh, have lots of bandit AI around them that give a reward for doing eventually. So I'm just giving you a quick tour of my house right now. I actually just spent most of the day working on this, uh, well, mainly gathering the supplies for it, and. Um, I'm going to tell you, building bases in Epoch really isn't that easy. It requires lots and lots of supplies, mainly scrap metals and or scrap metal and supply crates. And uh, then, if you want to build these indestructible bases, you need cinder blocks. So, if you're using cinder blocks as well, I would expect to pass out quite a lot because this uh, well, this Epoch mod uses the weight system in it. So, if you have if you're carrying too much weight, you're going to pass out and possibly die. Uh, I've never died from weight on this server in particular, but I believe it's possible elsewhere. So I'm just going to go through the features, sort of run through what Epoch is about, and then we'll get to some gameplay. So I'm hopping in my little bird. There are still these kinds of helicopters and basic materials that come from the regular daisy mod in place so don't worry you're not going to be completely out of your element with this mod uh, we're actually heading to the numerous trader cities that are on the map so if i just open up my map here you can see there's trader city bash trader city starry and trader city clan clan is personally my favorite because it's uh, it seems that it's in a better location and lots of people go here instead so actually going to head to one of these missions after I show you the trader cities. I was actually asking around if there were any missions in chat because I wanted to go there and uh, show you guys some and uh, apparently the hunting party was just discovered so we'll check that out after I show you the trader cities. So here we go. This is a trader city so I'm just gonna put auto hover on. It'll say now entering trader city bash or clan or starry. There are three of them actually all located in different locations. Uh, Bash is up near northwest, which is the one I'm in right now. Uh, Clan is up near northeast. If you look on the map, there's a mountain called Clan, and that's essentially where it is. And then Starry is in Starry Savor, and they all have different things you can buy and sell, uh, specific to their respective locations. That is, here another heli. We'll just land for now. Okay, so, I'm just gonna hop out. So as you can see, it's sort of a spawned-in area. It's like a little uh, safe zone where AI yeah, can't get in and shoot you and neither can zombies, so it's very nicely set up how you're safe from AI and other baddies that are gonna hurt you. So I believe at the moment traders are still broken, and that is a giant bong right there. Anyways, uh, and what you'll be able to do is go to the trader menu and press assault rifle. And say I wanted to sell my AKS-74U, over here it'll say AKS-74U, and it'll be green since you have one in your inventory. It has to be actually on your person like my MK-17 is right now. But uh, then you'll be able to sell it for currency like gold, silver, and copper. Copper is, of course, the least valuable, while silver is the medium value, and gold is the most valuable. There are briefcases, though, which can be made by taking an empty briefcase and adding uh, 10 10 ounce gold bars into that briefcase. Then it'll fill it up and show there's a green bar under the briefcase icon in your inventory. So we're coming up on the mission now. These little AI missions, uh, it's mainly just players that uh, come here to get some good loot. I think they're all dead. Someone's uh, slaughtered them all for me. That are the they're all laying down. Which I think they're actually dead. I hope so. I'm just gonna go down here and see if they shoot at me. <laughs> they're alive? Well, smart ones they are. Yeah, real quick, just gonna land and just 
take him out, really. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that, uh, usually they're not this dumb. Why are they not dying? I think they're already dead. No, nope, apparently not. I just have really bad aim. quick. I had to remember that you have to compensate for uh, using SD rounds in a regular stand I had gone. <laughs> that was uh, the reason for my terrible aim. So as you can see the AI will have gear, decent gear. I'll take the G36. And these are the briefcases I was talking about. And uh, I mainly just kind of focus on just taking their guns. Uh, Hollow SD, that's a decent gun, but I already have like four of those back at home. And uh, you can sell all these guns, by the way. And uh, when I say home, I mean back at base. But uh, here's an AKM. And these are really good for starting players that uh, on their server, maybe they'll have, you know, a place where you can get weapons to start off with. And that'll help because you'll be able to immediately go to an AI mission and then just wipe them out and go sell them to possibly buy an MTVR and then uh, loot, start loot cycling the barracks or something like that. It's really up to you the way you want to make your money, but uh, the whole end game aspect of making your base is what I'll show you guys in a bit. Okay, so just now coming back to my base, I'm going to show you guys the uh, base building part of Epoch. And with the different materials you can use, what you can construct, and what you'll need. So, the three or four main tools you'll need is a hatchet, an entrenching tool, and, well, possibly a toolbox, and then a crowbar. I think that's five. But, uh, you're gonna first want to chop down some trees so you can get a bit of wood. And then you can either make that into lumber, plywood, or keep it to make stick fences. This is what wood looks like as a wall with a window in it. And then this is cement, which is a much more durable material that can't be possibly destroyed. It's pretty much indestructible. So this is my friend's base. Uh, that over there is actually mine. It's uh, much more dull than uh, his. His is very colorful and uh, varietized. That's a word. So I'm just going to go inside real quick. I actually have to duck under the door because uh forgot the combinations for the uh, garage doors since he just placed new ones, but this is his little base. Now, say a chopper were to crash, like, right now into, like, this wall, say. It would only destroy what's around it, like the MTVR and the Ural and maybe these other cars over here, but it wouldn't destroy the wall itself because cement has a really high health value. So... In here, you can see he has floors placed down. This is actually unfinished. And you can make stairs up to second floors if you'd like. So this is mainly just a lookout spot for now, which is uh, if AI come around here, somehow they sneak up here sometimes. I'll just get up here and snipe them out from there. But going back downstairs, you can see that there's lots of things you can make with Epoch. It's essentially like Minecraft, but uh, a lot more dull. And, uh, I, I don't mean to say dull, but it's a lot more basic and not very symmetrical. It's not beautiful, it's more of a functionary thing. So you can also upgrade things, like, uh, you know, one time this was just, the door wasn't here, like, there was just a little garage area here where you could just move cars into. And you can upgrade it to a garage door, like this metal one here, with two poles and three tank traps. Then he got a combination lock to put on the door so nobody can just randomly sneak in. Although, that's uh, kind of redundant considering he has this giant gap here. But uh, I'm sure there'll be a way to fix that. And as you can see, you can really place the blocks, not blocks, but more so modular pieces wherever you'd like. And you can also lock them with combination locks, like I just mentioned before, that you can get off of zombies. I don't believe you can buy them as of yet, but I'm sure in the future that's something that the devs will be looking at is to uh, increase them on the loot table. So that's my friend's base, and let's go to my base now. So as you can see, it's actually quite dull. It's uh, a square. This is all I've done yet. I mean, I've been working on it for about four hours, uh, getting the supplies, building it, correcting stuff. 
and uh, hopefully I don't get crushed. <laughs> yeah, I almost got like wailed by the garage door. And uh, it comes up pretty slow, so if you get wailed by it, it's kind of your fault. So I'm just going to drive my Vodnik in here. And uh, the cannon on top of it is actually like an anti... It's an armor-piercing cannon, so that's uh, something I use to just shoot down AI helis if they roam too close. I don't think I'll be able to fit in here. Yeah, forget it. I'll just uh, show these base building features. So you can get sandbags, of course, with uh, supply crates that spawn on the map as well. That's an optional thing that the uh, server owner implemented at uh, Northwest Airfield. There's a separate base where you can get lots of different things like Mountain Dew, which are worth about two or three gold, sandbag packs, and heli gear, and uh, lots of industrial bits and bobs. So, as you can see, you can take these sandbags and craft them into bigger sandbags, and then craft them into rows of bigger sandbags, and then you can use them essentially as a wall to guard your base. The only real reason I used it was because I got really lazy and I didn't feel like going out and getting more cement. So that's why I just used this as a substitute, the last wall for that. Now what I'm going to want to do is make more of these wooden floors to cover the whole base to get a roof, although I am kind of concerned if you know, this is going to nick the garage door, or if it might hit the uh, Vodnik's cannon, which actually is close at the moment with my garage door clearing. But uh, I can close this up, actually. Okay, that's good. Didn't want it to blow up the uh, Vodnik, but I think it's just a non collisible <laughs> collisible uh no colliding item i don't know how to say that in the fancy tech terms but uh yeah these are really cool garage doors they um you can't shoot through them of course they're uh rock solid and i try to make this like a garage slash house and slash no i mean slash i'm going to have my safes over here maybe some tents and uh anything else i really need to fortify so I can open this door and go out the back and take a look at this, which is my wall. So I'd like to make some stairs possibly to be able to get up on here, use bag fences and walk around, but uh, also make a helipad for the old MH6. And I think that's really it. There's not much more to show with Epoch. Uh, that's a pretty good summary of everything. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and mainly that it helped you out. So if you're trying to play Epoch, you just downloaded it, and you're playing it, and you're gonna getting frustrated, just give it a little bit of time. Try to find a car, get up north, get some supplies, and just build a small little base with some minimal materials like stick fences and tents and whatever, really. Because once you give the mod a try, it's actually really fun, and if you get in-depth with it, like starting to know the costs, of uh, all the items, you know, what guns are sellable, what guns are good to sell, and how much each of them are worth, which is pretty much the same as costs, then it'll be a lot more fun for you. And if you find people that uh, also share the interest for this mod, then even better. It's always fun to group up with a team in Daisy, because if you're alone, it's really not that fun of a game. So hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed, and please drop a like rating if you can, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There will be lots more Daisy mod uh, videos and Epoch mods and really anything. I cover a lot of games videos uh, in the future. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching, and have a fantastic day.